Hello everyone, Cat McMuffin here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play... Link is taking a shit in his pants. I'm Cat McMuffin, and this time, we're gonna go talk to this Ivan kid. I think this is him right here. Yeah! yeah! Yo, bud, you got a problem with this killer bees, huh, do ya? Don't tell me it's that annoying hag of a teacher again, is it? You came here to give us a talking to, cause Mrs. Marie asked you to, right? Tell us not to skip school, right, bud? Tell us not to be tidy, right, bud? Well, forget about all that. We're the mighty and invincible gang of four, the killer bees. You think we'd listen to a chump like you? Actually, I'm quite a chump, and I am quite... M-mouthed. I don't know. But, I'll tell you what, bud. If you want to challenge us to a competition, then we'll think about maybe listening a, bit, a little bit. What do you say, bud? You want to challenge us? Sure, kid from the 20s. I'll take you on. What do I gotta do? Okay, your funeral, bud. The rules are simple. They always say that. We're gonna go hide somewhere, and if you find us, we're gonna run. You better try to catch us easy as that, bud. We won't hide indoors or nothing, and we won't leave this island, so look for us around the shadows and behind buildings and stuff. If you can catch all four of us, we lose. You got it, bud? Ready? Go! Okay, if we don't have a time limit, then I'm just going to look around, but I think I'm just gonna look for that one kid. He hit off here somewhere. Let's see if we can find him. And I did not mean to do that. Crap. Alright, let's see if we can get back up there, because I think... Oh, wait, is he back here? What is this? Oh, cool. Random rupee. Okay. Don't want my sword out. Don't want to scare people. Okay, I want to just sneak around here. I bet he's back here. We're gonna find out momentarily, though. More money! I can use as much of that as I can. Oh, chillin'. Ivan, whatever your name is, and that he's not out here. Hmm. I bet he's around here somewhere, though. Now, I'm not sure if we'll be able to find him out in the open. Wait, is this one of them? Hi there. Oh, that is one of them. <laughs> what? That kid almost killed himself because we found him. Holy crap! Well, I guess we better chase after him now that we found him. Even though you look kind of like an emo kid. I'm gonna come after you. I'm chasing little children because I am Petal Link. Come on, Petal Link. You can catch him. Cut around corners. You can get him. You can get him. You can get him. You can get him. Oh, but he's fast. Ooh. Come on. Catch him. Catch him. Catch him. Gotta catch him all. Gotta catch him all. Petal kids. You're awesome! Oh, thanks! Okay, so that's one of them. Let's take a look around now. There's that kid. No! Stay away from me, old man. Oh, hey, look, it's Mario. Hey there, boy! Did you happen to see the post box down near the docks? Well, just so you know, if you want to send someone a letter, just send it to YZX and use the button to put it in the post box. It's just that easy. Before long, the Rito postman will come to deliver it to whomever you sent it to. He's a hardworking fellow, I tell you. That's great, I don't really care. Let's find another shop. This looks like a shop, full of creepy people on the signs. Alright. What do we got? Oh, this looks... okay. Are you selling drugs or something? Hello, hello, and hello! You are standing in the one and only Chew Jelly Juice Shop. You must have heard, our potions are the best, I'm telling you. They're too good, in fact. They're absolutely incredible. Hmm, what's that? What's chew gel, you asked? Looking somewhat bewildered? Oh, sir, you simply must be joking. You don't know what chew jelly is? No. Yes, no. Tell me. Well, just ask yourself this, good sir. What is a robustly nourishing element? What is a mystical substance that is good for the body and mind? Ask yourself. Uh, let me guess. Chew jelly? The words chew jelly roar out in answer to these questions, proclaiming themselves to be true. Why is the ingredient key ingredient in the most effective potions around? All you have to do is bring an empty bottle to my little juice shop here, and I'll let you have a taste. Which begs the question, sir, do you have an empty bottle? Uh, no. Even though those are the most useful thing in any Zelda games, as everybody knows. It's like a towel from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It's just useful for everything. Okay, so that wasn't our sale place, but this door looks promising. Let's see what's in here. 
Alright. Looks shiny. Ooh, vases that I could break. This place looks far too fancy for my taste, though. Can I get up here, please? Apparently I can't. Okay, that was a waste. There doesn't seem to be a sale in here anyway. There's gotta be a place where I can find a sale. I just don't know where that place is. Let's see. Oh, hi there, Eskimo man. My dear fellow, I can't have you trying to come in this way. No, no, no. Go over there. Okay. My story is a strange one. I came across cursed seas from a land far away, a land where blizzards blow violently, heading from for this town called Windfall. But dear me, as I traveled, a terrible storm descended and tore my ship to bits. Yet mysteriously, the only that only that escaped without so much as a mark on it. From the looks of you, I would say you are travelers as well. Oh yes, indeed. Could you not purchase that for me? This is why I'm one and only heirloom from home. The people of this town do not seem the least bit interested in that, despite the fact that it would help them travel the dangerous seas about their town. Please, I beg of you, I wish to open a business here in this town, so I'm in desperate need of finances. How does 80 rupees sound? I don't need it. Oh, oh dear me, sadly, I have nothing else I could possibly sell you. Alright, alright. I'll buy it. Wait, what is it exactly? Is it the sale? I have no idea what he's selling. Ah, oh, let's just buy it. I have plenty of money. Sure, 80 rupees, fine. Yes, 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 thank you very much indeed. I have received precisely 80 rupees from it. I can use these funds to finance my new business. Oh dear me, what a happy day. Very well, young master, as I promised, please take that! Yeah! Oh, we did get a sale. Awesome. Alright. So we will definitely have to set that. Yes, 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 you have made a good purchase today, my young master. And you have saved my life and business as well. Treasure it dearly. It is the finest sale in the world. Treat it as such. I shall. And all these people are far too preachy for my liking. I have trouble coming up with voices for all of them. Alright, a coffee shop, I guess this is? I don't know why I'm still looking indoors. I just want to explore this place. It's so cool. That's just so cool. Yeah. Oh, hi there, lady. Um, That guy looks like the the lawyer from Scrubs, and what do you have to say? Welcome! Oh my, you're a very small customer, aren't you? Well, that's fine, of course. You just feel free to look around. Okay, I'm gonna break this vase, then. Pot. Pot vase. Hey, there's a rupee inside. Cool. Okay, I don't really care. Let's go out here. I gotta find those other kids. That's what I wanna do. Alrighty. Let's see, where would these kids be hiding? Probably somewhere sneaky, I'm sure. This guy from 1700 looks suspicious. What does he have to say? People from all over the world seem to gather here on Windfall Island, hoping to become successful merchants. I suppose you could say that this is the island where people and money come together. But you know what? Money is important, sure, but don't you think people need to open their hearts and a little more than their wallets? I've been kicking around this crazy world for a long time, and I've learned to stop and sniff the flowers along the way. That's some inspiring words, sir. But I have to find some kids and beat the crap out of them. Or rather, catch them. Yes, I found you already. Huh. They're probably hiding in very obscure-ish places. Alright, I talked to you already. Yeah. Yeah. What if anyone f or oh, there's a guy on the tree. Well, is it? How did you get up there? And is there a way I can get there from here? Huh. No, I probably can't climb that tree either. Huh? Oh, look, islands. You can see them all in the distance. That one looks interesting. From what I heard, I uh, I'm pretty sure that you can see every. Oops. Do that. I've heard that you can find, you can see every island in the distance from any island that you're on. So that's pretty cool. I need to figure out how to get to this kid who's standing on top of that tree. There's another place where I can get another free rupee. Hooray! Okay. Let's get up on out of here. Can I climb this? Nope. But I can climb some ladders. And that I will do. Gotta be a way to get that to that kid. I just don't know how it how 
How did he get up there in the first place? Holy crap. There doesn't seem to be any way to jump onto it, so... We'll check ba back to that guy in a second. Oh, cool, I can jump up there. Awesome. Alright. You kids are gonna go. Go down to Chinatown. Okay. Have I explored this whole place already? I feel like I have. But I also feel like I haven't. Is this like the highest place I can get to? Or am I just running around in circles? Hmm. Yeah, it was just here. Let's see if this door goes anywhere interesting. Let's take a look-see. Hmm. Okay, we're in another opulent area. What does this guy have to say? Mmm, I wonder. I wonder if a boy like you will do. Oh, Orange Nose! It's difficult to tell. Yes, difficult. You see, my one and only daughter, Myla, was taken away from me from a, to a frightening place called the Forsaken Fortress. Oh, not you two. I have asked May to rescue her, but it seems to be a difficult voyage to that cursed place. Oh, to see my sweet Myla again, my precious little daughter. I worry about so over her welfare. I can't recall the last time I slept more than a wink. I sincerely wonder about the wisdom of asking a boy like you to do this. But would you lend a hand to rescue my precious daughter? Sure. Ooh. You're a brave boy to take on these tasks, I assure you. If you do rescue her, I will pay you. As much money as it takes. I give my entire fortune for her safety. Okay, so another person needs help. I assume... We're going to be going back to that fortress at some point in the game to save everyone. I mean, we have to. Errol's still there. So we'll have to talk to the old guy and the guy with the orange nose here later on. But we still need to find the three other kids. That one was so easy to find, it seems. Let's go back to the beach and see if there's anything there. Of any particular interest. Let's see. Can I destroy this bush? Nope. Just when I thought I could. Oh well. Let's see. Is anyone hiding back here? It's always possible. Let's sidle along. Sidle, sidle, sidle. Alright, so how is everyone today? For me, today is Monday, but for you it'll be Friday. Um. Today is the first day of college for me, and I found another kid! I knew it. I knew you'd be sneak snooping around here somewhere. And off he goes, committing suicide just like the last one. We're gonna get him, though. You're mine, child! You're mine! After I get down from here. No, not there, Link. Stoop. Alright, get him. Get him. Get him. Roll for your life, Link. Mm oh, I almost had him. Come back here, you. I will get. I didn't want to talk to you, you stoop. Yeah, shut up. That's not even for two rupees. Have some rupees. Jeez. Oh, okay. Okay, sure. Never tell you about that strange guy dressed from head to toe in green who's locked up in the town jail, but I wonder if he's related to you. I don't know, but I don't really care right now. I'm busy going to catch this guy. She's gonna catch him. Eventually, he's fast. I like how he puts his arms behind his back. He's, he's running like crazy, but I got him. Ah, lean! <laughs> he looks like he really has to take a shit. <laughs> Look at that later, Hosen. Alright. Still have no idea how I'm gonna get to that kid up there. I think that's one of the kids, anyway. Okay. No, I don't want to talk to you! Yes, I know! Stop it! I don't want to talk to people. I'm antisocial, as you, I'm sure you know. All right, two kids to go. One of them is maybe that guy looks shady. His girl looks shady. All right, let's see. I don't think we've been up here yet, have we? Yes, we have. Okay. I caught you already. I went in there already. I haven't been in here, I don't think. Or have I? I don't really know. Okay. Uh huh. Oh, look, it's King Harkinian. Hmm, now. I would have to say that I've never seen your face before, have I? Hmm, 
now intriguing, beguiling. I know you're just a small child, but I found one can I found one can rarely trust strangers. Where was it you're from, good young sir? I'm sorry, but the years have made me wary. Once long ago I rented a room out of the travel for a single night. The next dawn my precious picto box was stolen. Tell me, young sir, why are good deeds so often repaid with cruelty? I spread kindness where I can, and still my box does not come back to me. It is a sad thing. You may look like a child, but you can see why I cannot be assured of your youth. <laughs> be a good boy and be gone! Shoo! Shoo! Well, that sucks. But what if I find your picto box? Will that, will, will that allow you to trust me a little bit more? <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. Whatever. If I find your precious picto box, I will definitely bring it back to you, and maybe you'll trust me a little bit more. Certainly would be nice. Alright. Where do we need to go? I want to find those kids. Yes, they're both back here now. But where do we look from here? I honestly have no idea. So we're just going to walk around and see if we can find them. Let's see. Gossiping, yes, yes, yes. Um, maybe some people are hiding around here. I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Let's take a little swim, shall we? All right. Okay, we're back here. There's the boat, the King of Red Lions. It's a very odd name. Okay, we're now over here. Is that someone up there? I don't think so. Oh, it's another pot. Let's grab it. Or smash it. That works too. I don't really care either way. Wait, is that our kid up there? I can't... Wait. Let's take a look. See if this is one of the kids. Yes, that is one of the kids. He's all the way over there. How are we supposed to get to him? That is perplexing indeed. Let's see. Is there someone up there? Yes, there's another one of the kids. He's all the way up there, so let's see if we can catch him. Within the confines of this- No! I don't want to talk to you! Freaking pale gray old man. Jeez. Okay, so one of the kids is on a tree, and the other kid is up there in that tower thing. But how do we get up there? Well, I suppose we're just going to have to walk around and find out walk back up here again. Okay, so there's the tower that I was looking at earlier. Can we jump to there? I don't think. Yeah, that's way too far. But I can probably land on that thing there. That doesn't really do anything for me. So whatever. I tried. Someone is vacuuming outside. Interesting. Okay, back up this ladder we go for like the umpteenth time. Jeez. Man, jeez. There's a sailor again. <clears throat> okay. Nothing really to get to from here. There's gotta be somewhere I can go. I just don't know where that place is. Let's see. I keep climbing up here thinking I'm going to be able to find something, but I really can't. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Oh, no, Link. Stop being dumb. There's that vacuum again. Maybe I can get to there from here. Oh, wait, there's a door over there. I saw it. I oh, know, wait, that's the door. I, a door I already went in. Can I grab on top of this? I don't know. This might be, like, completely stupid. It's probably completely stupid. Let's get out of here. And where am I now? That was weird. Okay. No more fooling around. We gotta find something. Hmm. I don't think I've been up here very much. Let's take a look up here. Oh, this is the coffee place. Don't really care about that. Hmm. I don't know. I like how this the song for Windfall Island sounds a little bit like Kakariko Village. That's a nice touch. Um, man. Can I get to it from here? I want to get over there, but I don't know how exactly I'm going to do that. Can I hop on this tree? 
Nope, not even close. There's gotta be a way up there. Man, this sucks. I wanna find those kids. Maybe there's a way, way in through here. I forget what's in here. Or maybe I haven't even looked in here. Oh wait, this is like the, the school, isn't it? Right? Oh no, I haven't been in here. Holy crap. Well, let's talk to this guy. Hey, hey welcome. It's 10 rupees per game for kids. You want to play or what? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay then. Ahem. <laughs> welcome to the fleet. I am the great Admiral Dolvaski. Look sharp for we are, th are the sole protectors of this island. Admiral, red alert! All hands on deck! Sonar shows that off the schools of deadly giant squid are approaching. All ships prepare for battle. What? Where? Ah, uh, who? There are three squid groups. A large one, a medium one, and a small one. If we allow them to get any closer, the children on the island will be in grave danger. Sailor, take command of our new radar system to seek out and sink all of these fiendishly hidden enemies. But we warned, you only have 24 cannonballs that you can fire. To destroy the marauding squid pods, you must score four direct hits on the large, three on the medium, and two on the small. Okay, sounds good. Let's see if I can do it. Excellent! So far, our best sailor has managed to destroy all the giant squid using only 20 cannonballs. May you fight us bravely. Alright, let's see if I can do this. So I have to... It's like Battleship, I suppose. Splish! <laughs> Splish! Splish! Are you kidding me? Kaboom! Oh, okay. I like this guy's sounds. Kaboom! Kaboom! Splish. Kaboom! Oh, hey, I got one. Cool. Let's try over here. Splish. Splish. Uh, here? Splish. Oh, crap, I'm sucking. Splish. I'm really Splish. sucking. Splish. 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 Oh, my God. Splish. Splish. Really? Splish. 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 Oh, man, I Splish. suck. Really? Splish. Wow. Oh, that's dickish. <laughs> oh, bad news, uh, sailor. The enemies have retreated or something. It's 10 rupees per game for kids. Want to try again? Mm, I'll try one more time, then we'll end off the episode. Yeah, okay, then. Yeah, I don't want to hear this again. Okay, so if I find one, I'll just look on all the same Splish. area. Splish. 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 Kaboom! Kaboom! Splish. 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 I can't talk now, I'm thinking. Kaboom! I got one! Splish. 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 Oh, well now they're nowhere near Splish. each other. That's stupid. Splish. 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 Um... <laughs> Ah oh, man, this game is surprisingly hard. <laughs> okay, no, I don't want to try again. <laughs> Whatever, come back soon or not. All right, well, in the next episode of Let's Play Wind Waker, I think we're going to move on, try and capture those kids, and actually get ourselves going on our adventure with the King of Red Lions. So, until then, thank you for watching. This has been Cat McMuffin, and I hope to see you again next time.